welcome back to my channel if you are new here please don't forget to subscribe and if you already subscribed thank you for always coming back so as you probably read today's video is going to be a no brush slash makeup tool video i'm just going to be using my hands uh, fingers i'm just going to be using my fingers to do really to do today's video and yeah i think i should be fine i am a little bit concerned about my eyebrows like how i'm going to do them uh, obviously i know that's just taking it too far but let's just see how it goes uh, and also i'm a little bit concerned about my eye makeup cuz honestly it's been a while since i did my you know eyes without any brush or something obviously when i started off with makeup i did not have any brushes or any beauty blender or any kind of tools so i used to use a mugger or fingers but it's been a while so i am a little bit concerned about my eyebrows and my eye makeup but otherwise the face i think i should do good hopefully so yeah let's not talk anymore and let's get started so i've seen a couple of videos where you just do your eyebrows just like with your fingers just like get it there and then clean up around them using a concealer so that's what i'm going to try and do hopefully so for that i'm going to be using a powder just cuz i feel like that's going to work better with my fingers better than a brow pomade so yeah let's just try so i have it on my pinky and i'm just going to go in okay Okay, it's okay. Obviously, I am taking this a little too far. You can just use a, you know, eyebrow pencil, but I don't know if it counts as a tool or whatever. So I'm just doing this. Okay, you don't have to. This is just for fun. It's not bad. So I'm just rubbing it in so that it gets into, you know, my bald spots. So this is definitely looking wrong so now I'm going to clean up around them using a concealer also again on my fingers so I need to clean them up first now I'm just going to take some concealer on the back of my hand you could directly use this but again that's kind of like cheating so I'm not going to do it so I'm taking it again on my pinky I have managed to get it on my eyebrow hair now i'm trying to take it on my nails and get a better placement yeah i think that's better and then i spend an unimaginable amount of time trying to perfect them it's doable but just use an angle brush if you care about wasted time at all so the other eyebrow surprisingly didn't take much time so I'm just going to blend it out. Okay, so the eyebrows are not good, but this is all I can do and now we got to move on. I'm applying that same concealer all over my eyelid just as a base. Now for the eyelid, I want to create something a little bit sparkly, something browny, reddish kind of thing. So I'm going to be using the Urban Decay Naked Heat palette. So remember, you need to start off with clean hands. You want to keep, you know, cleaning your hands in between. I'm going to first start with the shade So I'm going to go straight into my crease with this brush. Ooh. So I'm just applying the product using my fingertips and when I'm blending I'm using like this part. I don't know what it's called but like you know what I'm doing, right? Like yeah. That is a beautiful transition shade. So basically I'm doing the same thing that I would do using a brush so I'm just you know depositing the color onto my crease and then just going back and forth trying to blend it in and when there's not much product left on my fingers I you know start blending it towards my brow bone Now I want to try and deepen up my crease a little bit and for that I'm going to be using this deeper red shade so for that I'm going to be using my pinky finger and just again start depositing it into my crease okay now that we have it i'm just going to go back and forth 
I think that is a decent job too. Now I'm gonna put this sparkly shade all over my eyelids. This shouldn't be a problem because I already use my fingers for, you know, literally sparkly shades. Ooh. I'm trying to be a little careful about not going above my crease. So this step went very well. So for the outer corners, I'm gonna use this dark maroon shade. Again, I'm gonna use it on my ring finger. So I'm just gonna place it on the outer corners, just like stamp it in. Not bad. You can add some intensity. And I'm just blending it into that glittery shade. And if you feel like the intensity of the sparkly shade has, you know, diminished, you can just go back in with a little bit and just add it. That is not bad. Again, I don't know if I'm allowed to say that myself, but I think it is pretty good. These two are the parts that I was kind of like unsure about. So now that that's out of the way, I think we are safe, hopefully. Now I'm gonna take my good old Lakme Insta Liner and just align my eyes. Wait, is this cheating? No, because it comes with the this thing. It's not cheating, right? It's not. Even if it is, let's not tell anybody, okay? Don't talk about it. Just a simple line like that and now I'm gonna moisturize my face. As usual, I'm using my Olay Total Fix Whip Moisturizer. Very important to clean your hands before this. I'm gonna try and clean up the edges with the moisturizer. I don't know if it's working, but let's see. Some of that eyeshadow managed to get on my lower lash line. I'm trying to take it off with the moisturizer as well. First, I'm going to be color correcting under my eyes and for that, I'm going to be using my Kat Von D uh, Shade and Light Palette. I mean, I always do this with my fingers, so it's not a big deal. Amazing. For foundation, I'm going to be using this one from Wet n Wild. I had used this uh, for the first time in my full face of Wet n Wild video and I absolutely love this. So I'm going to be using this one and I also feel like this is going to be the easiest to blend out with my fingers. So yeah, I'm going to work one side at a time just to be, you know, safe. Okay, so I haven't done this in a while with my fingers, so it is feeling a little weird but it's okay. So I'm working in, you know, part by part. So I'm gonna do this region first, this region first, then do my forehead. Cause I usually tend to use a lot less product on my forehead. I'm just gonna drag it onto my neck as well. So this looks fine. So I think like rather than rubbing it along your face, just tapping it in works with your fingers as well. Not bad at all. And now I'm gonna use my concealer. This is uh, Born to Glow by NYX. Now here again, as usual, try to, you know, not mess up your eyeshadow by going in too much. Now, since I'm feeling a little bit fancy, I'm gonna contour as well, so. Okay, that's gonna take a lot of time to blend out, but yeah, I'm not gonna do that on my cheeks. I'm just gonna keep it minimal. <sighs> wow, that is messed up. Okay, I think I was a little bit too confident. Okay, we're gonna fix it, we're gonna fix it. Okay, I think that looks fine. Now for the cheese, I'm just gonna go in with my middle finger and just tap it in. It's working. Okay, once it's there, I'm just gonna like Once it's blended out, I'm just gonna like pull it up. 
Now to set my face, I was really confused. I was like, should I go into a pressed powder with my fingers and just do it? But then I decided, let me just use a, you know, baking powder. So I have some in my hands and I'm just gonna go in. Okay, did I do everything else? Yeah, I did. That is looking fine. And for the rest of my face, this is what I'm gonna do because I like it. This kind of reminds me of my grandmother. This was all she would do. Obviously not a baking powder. She would take like a normal talcum powder. It was, we used to have this thing called kutikura. I don't know how many of y'all have it. Wait, is it kutikura or cutikura? I don't know. Okay, she used to put that like all over her face and like call it a day. Do they still make it? So that was pretty decent. I'm not a shining ball anymore. So now I'm just gonna use my hula bronzer like on top of everywhere we contour. I don't think I need anything more on my forehead because you know, we had that little accident. Now for blush, I could use a lipstick and you know, that would be a lot easier to blend out, but I just want to make my life a lot harder. So I'm just going to use a normal powder blush. I'm just going to go in with the, these two fingers. Okay. Not bad. Why do we even bother buying brushes? And with what was left on my fingers, I'm just gonna go on my chin and my nose. Now it's time for highlighter. So I'm gonna use the Cindy Luminizer from The Balm. And it's broken, so I'm not gonna like play around with it too much. I'm just gonna take it on my middle finger and just place it on the high points of my cheeks. Just a little bit on top of my mouth. Now there's something very crucial and something I did not want to face. Now I need to work on my lower lash line. <sighs> so my plan is to go in with that same deep maroon shade. I don't know how to get it there. I think I'm gonna go in with my fingernails. It is not very sanitary, so. I don't know if you can see, but I've taken a tiny amount on the back of my nails and I'm just gonna go in with it. It did kind of work. Now I'm going to take that first transition shade that we used and just smoke out the lower lash line a little bit. I had no idea I looked this creepy while doing this but you gotta do what you gotta do. That is looking fine you guys. Final step, I'm just going to take this light shade and highlight my tear duct. Just taking it on the back of my pinky and eye makeup is done. I'm going to try and attempt to put on some lashes. I'm not going to curl my lashes or anything because that's a tool and I'm going to, you know, play within the rules so i'm gonna try and put on these lashes without using a tweezer usually i use like three tweezers to put on a pair of lashes because i'm really horrible at it so i did manage to do it without any tweezers but as usual it was a very average job so i'm not gonna talk about it so these are my lashes wait can i use a mascara i think i can it doesn't matter so i'm just gonna go in now all that's left is lipstick and i want to do a really dark color because i want to make my life a lot harder than it is right now because you know darker colors are harder to like put on you need to be really precise and like clean up and like lip liner and all that so i'm just not gonna do any lip liner or anything i'm gonna go straight in with the tube so this is one of my favorite like dark colors this is not a red this is not a nude like it's somewhere in between this is the mac uh, viva glam three so I'm gonna go in with the lipstick. I have my mirror over here. In real time, it did take me almost two minutes to do this because I hate sloppy lipstick applications. Some people don't, just do as you please. So what do you guys think? Did I do a good job? Did I pass? Please let me know. More than a challenge, with this video, I just wanted to convey the fact that you don't have to spend a hell lot of money on brushes to be good at makeup. I'm not trying to say that, oh my God, doing makeup without brushes is so hard. Like, oh my God, I cannot like, you can absolutely do it without like any kind of tools and all that like of course it helps and improves the quality sometimes of your makeup but it's not like oh my god without it you can't like do anything because let's be honest we all started off without any kind of brushes or tools i'm pretty sure there are still people doing their makeup absolutely beautifully without using any brushes so 
it's not a big deal i just wanted to do this for fun i hope you guys enjoyed watching this i had a lot of fun filming this so yeah thank you for watching till the end bye guys